Now he's going to be on one show. They're going to be on Dynamite. Uh, only meet on pay-per-views. And I'm like, but this thing is not, is not resolved yet. I mean, how can you bring a guy back without this? And and, and to 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 put them on two separate shows. I mean, it's it's almost worse than Brett and Sean from I don't know 25 years ago. It so, is uh, it, it it is it is more than than Brett and Sean, um, because, but it, yeah, it, it it is because it it um, with Brett and Sean, very quickly after, you know, they agreed to work together. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then that's, and that, and there's been nothing on either side, you know, when it comes to that, you know, where there's been, uh, well, I mean, I guess Punk said that he would work with them, but there's, you know, but that was like, um, you know, but that hasn't been in person or anything like that, or just going like, look, you know, we're going to, we're going to do business. And with Brett and Sean, you know, there was always where, you know, we're going to do business very, you know, not immediately after the fight, because there was a period where they didn't work together, but it wasn't that long. It was what, a couple of months or so when, when they were back you know, doing matches at house shows and, um, you know, they had the different situations where, you know, and Sean, I think did have to put Brett over at house shows, maybe in, in three ways or something. I don't remember the whole, the whole situation, but when it, when it happened, it, it all, you know, it, it wasn't, it wasn't something where they didn't go in a room and, and hash it out. And these guys have not seen each other literally since September. And so, you know, until, but but I mean, I mean, Dave Punk, Punk is considered as like their biggest draw. The He's three others, star. the three others are EVPs. What does it say about AEW's leadership? I can't answer that question past the obvious answer. Um, I mean, I think that um, you know, from March of last year or February of last year, it's been you know a series of things that went that have all gone unresolved one after the other, and it led to everything that happened, mm. and and it's still not resolved, and that's why. You know, I mean, I know people in the company, you know, I mean, the the mood of the people that I know there that are not any of the people that we just mentioned um, are is not, you know, it's like, it's like, okay, when's, it's kind of like, when's the next explosion going to happen? You know, I mean, we know it's going to happen. We just don't know when, as opposed to, okay, we're not going to have another explosion. We're all on the same team, you know, and, and, and um, you know, and maybe, you know, a lot of that, you know, it. Yeah, that's that's basically what it is. I I, I know people who I think are much madder than um, well, I know they're much madder than than any of the the ones that I that we've mentioned, only because you know, um, yeah, there's there's people who are really really upset about this. And, I mean, I'm assuming they believe that by uh, maybe they they probably think Tony is is coddling, and that just increases the chance that the behavior can happen again. Like you you just that 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 is my assumption based on you know just kind of the lay of the land is that is that what you're kind of talking about um yeah i mean i, I just think that it's the fact that it's unresolved and there's also people who have you know who have lingering issues over what happened over all the things that happened you know one after the other and uh just feel that it was you know i think that the idea is is that the company from a backstage standpoint you know finally turned it around now from a rating standpoint from a you know live attendance standpoint it is not but from a backstage standpoint it finally turned it around and it's like now we're going back but the thought is of course that um if he delivers if punk delivers the numbers that he did when he first came in um but i don't know that, that you know we don't know that that's going to happen we don't know that it's not going to happen Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, goddamn! You had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask! My God, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me! What are you doing in my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah no, listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Shave that thing. Oh my God. Wrestling Observer Live. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. 
And uh, they had, uh, I don't know, that I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh-huh. So I got home, and I just... I start running the water through my hair, and, like, I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Until it fell out? Finally, I was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. <laughs> I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black and going in there looking like Vincent Price. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. I think Vince watches this show every week. He goes into the archives. He watches the Retro Raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show, and he saw old Burt Reynolds. Man, he saw Ron and Sheer marking out for this guy, and he was like, that's the secret of mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. I don't know about that one. Oh. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.